Welcome to Electron Online and now we're going to take a look at the planet density and it's actually very revealing in, in several ways. Uh, one of the great ways in which we can use the knowledge of the density of a planet is trying to figure out what the planet is made out of. So here let's first, let, uh, let's first look at the densities of the planet. Again we have the terrestrial planets, there's four of them, we have four gas planets. Notice that the density of the terrestrial planets is far greater than the density of the gas planets. You can see a, a, a big difference between the two and they're kind of grouped together. Notice that all of the terrestrial planets have densities greater than the density of rock. The density of rock is somewhere between 2,500 and 3,000 kilograms per cubic meter. That's the, the units for density. Sometimes also expressed in terms of grab per cubic centimeter. Also we want to relate it to the density of water and the density of a typical metal. The density of water is 1,000 kilograms per, per cubic meter and of course that depends a little bit upon the temperature and so forth but very close to this number. So again then in grams per cubic centimeter for water it's one gram per cubic centimeter. Notice that the density of typical metals is about 8,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Of course there's some metals that are much more dense than that. Gold for example is more than 19,000 kilograms per cubic meter but for metals such as uh, uh, copper, uh, tin, cobalt, nickel, iron, those kind of metals they have densities in the neighborhood of about 8,000 kilograms per, per cubic meter. Now you notice that the terrestrial planets have densities between the density of rock and the density of metal and because of that we can surmise that the terrestrial planets are made up of partial of rock and partial of metal. Matter of fact since the density is about halfway between the density of rock and the density of metal we can say that they're probably made of about 50% rock and 50% metal. Matter of fact in the case of mercury Mercury is actually made of about 70% metal and only 30% rock and you say well how can that be if the earth has a greater density and earth it has about 50% metal and 50% rock how can mercury have a higher percentage metal with a lower density? Well another aspect that, con that controls density or, or that, that produces different densities is the pressure. Earth is a much bigger planet than Mercury so the pressure at the center of the Earth is far greater than the pressure at the center of Mercury and even though half the, in, half the Earth is metal and all the metals of course at the center part of the Earth it gets compressed into densities that reach 12,000 kilograms per cubic, per cubic meter in other words a 50% increase in the density due to the pressure and because of that the Earth has a larger average density of the planet mostly because it's a larger terrestrial planet, the largest of the four, and there's a greater pressure at the center. So you can see though that since Mars has a lower density than these other three planets you can surmise that Mars probably has the, the lowest percentage of metal and that's about right. I think Mars is about 30 percent metal, about 70 percent rock. Okay so you can see that there's a remarkable difference. Interesting enough Earth is the most dense planet of all of them and now we can come to the gas planets. Notice that the density of the gas planets for the three of them is barely greater than the density of water and for one of them Saturn it's actually less than the density of water. Again if you want to kind of remember what the numbers are it's probably easier just to remember two, two numbers with one decimal place in terms of grams per cubic centimeter. The fact that Saturn has a density less than water, imagine if you could take Saturn put him in a big, put Saturn in a big bathtub it would actually float because it's less dense on water just like a piece of wood. The other three are more dense on water so it's probably that they have larger cores that are made out of rock and maybe a little bit of metal so it's assumed that the gas planets have rocky cores presumably that Saturn probably has a relatively smaller rocky core but also remember that Jupiter is much bigger than Saturn so we can imagine that uh, there would be greater pressure at the center of Jupiter compared to Saturn also causing it to have relatively a larger density. In comparison also notice that these even though they're much smaller planets than the two very large ones notice that they have this one about the same density as Jupiter and this one a greater density which means that their cores, their rocky cores are probably larger in comparison as a percentage of the total planet compared to Saturn and Jupiter. So notice there's a lot to be learned about these planets just simply from the density. We have a pretty good idea of what they're made out of based upon the composition. We could say that uh, they're probably half metal, half rock, a little bit more metal, a little bit more rock on Mars and then you can see here that they're mostly made out of gas with probably some rocky core, maybe a little bit of metal in them. We surmise that there's less metal further out in the solar system. Most of the metal probably stayed behind right here 
in the inner solar system where it got incorporated into the four terrestrial planets. And there's some metal to be found on the asteroids, and we'll talk about that later as well. So density, a very important factor in our understanding about the makeup, the, consistent, the, the composition of the planets, and it gives you kind of a good feel of how the layout of the, of the solar system is, is made or is uh, differentiated into what we call the heavy metal rock planets, terrestrial planets, and the lighter gas planets far away in the solar system. That's how we figured that out.